and the headline is Eddie Hearns this and everyone thinks they're just talking about me which was good for me last week This is John Tanaga of Fifth Pro Boxing Fans here in Monte Carlo ahead of Cordino against Vasquez this Saturday live on Design. Frank Warren last week was saying he was asked about AJ going into the dark room and said he wanted to get away from you, you talking crap or whatever. Do you ever get tired of the back and forth or does it does it bother you when you're going back and forth with these guys? No, because I think people like it. You know, I think it's entertaining them. You know, Frank and Bob were cracking me up last week. They were like dirty, rotten scoundrels. Have you ever seen the film? You know, walking around. Frank's got a different colour linen set every day. Bob, like, they're just, they're great. Um, you know, when they smell a pound note, they're all over it like a wrap right a drain pipe. So they were funny last week. And listen, they're two quality operators. Whatever way you want to look at it, they're great survivors. They've been up, they've been down, they've been up, they've been down. Um, and I, I respect them as promoters and I think we don't agree on a lot of things and I think the back and forth I think it's pretty good we're both we're, we're all very passionate about what we do and we all want to win so bad and I think I think it's good for the fans and some people would blame guys like us for, for cool. stirring it but, but you know it does numbers so you do stir it yeah. but at the end of the day I mean people will say like people were saying to me oh my god last week all they were talking about is AJ and Eddie Hearn in Saudi Arabia but it's only because you guys were going Eddie Hearn said and AJ said so next thing they respond and the headline is Eddie Hearn's this and everyone thinks they're just talking about me which was good for me last week but this time you might have this interview saying Eddie Hearn says Warren something, something. but I've, I've only said nice things yeah you've been pretty complimentary yeah. so uh, you won't put it up <laughs> well that was what I was going to ask you because I saw Simon Jordan he obviously you mentioned Talksport being banned and he mm. kind of suggested that you know guys like YouTubers go around he says something and then we'll go up to say Fury and tell him what he said do you think he's got a point where he's basically saying that YouTube channels are stirring the pot or is he talking publicly so we're right no, to do so YouTube channels are definitely stirring the pot but the reality is is Simon Jordan and those guys at Talksport have actually been brown nosing Tyson Fury for ages now they criticised him about the Nganu fight and, and, and not taking the Usyk fight and Fury just come out and said right you're banned I'm not talking to you like you imagine, really, look at what our talk sport have treated me and Connor Ben and like, you know, they've absolutely tried to take us, our trousers down. But I still go in there, still done Simon Jordan to us. I still speak to him every other day on the phone because it's my job. That's the media. Don't agree with everything they do or say, but I'm not going to ban them. And that's where you've got to be better. And, you know, when, when AJ lost to Andy Ruiz and was concussed, the doctor said, don't do the press conference. And he went, I've got to do a press conference. It's embarrassing not doing a press conference. I can't have it both ways. Goes and does the presser. When he lost to Usyk the second time, and he was very upset, went and did the presser. Cried at the presser, and we all know what happened. But Fury lost on Saturday or whatever, and just said, no, nah, I ain't doing the presser. You get paid all that money, and you're not going to do the media. You can't just block, block out negativity when you don't want it. Well, you want it one minute, then you don't want it. Don't work like that. So that's why I think he'll struggle now with the criticism, because there's going to be a lot of it.